Okay, yes, this is a wishful thinking sticker. I'm, I can admit that, I'm big enough to admit that. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Rachel and today I'm going to be taking you through a quick sticker haul from the recent shops that I have picked up from. I ordered most of these about a month ago and they have officially all come. So I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what I'm gonna be using for the fall, what kind of stickers I am using in my planners these days, and I will also give you a quick peek into my Hobonichi Weeks to show you how I am using my stickers lately. But let's go over the haul first. So I have here stickers from Sweet Freckled Designs, Coffee Monsters Co., Rabbit Hole Handcraft, and Paper Shire Stationery. So I will start with, let's start with Coffee Monsters Co. and then do do the others from there. So for all of these stickers, I have already taken them out of their packaging for the most part. I have started to use some of them since I got like a few of them a couple weeks ago, so you may see some stickers missing here and there. But the first one I wanted to get a hold of was the Coffee Monsters Co. And I don't know about you guys, but I always end up missing her sales. I al almost always end up missing everyone's sales. I like think to buy stickers just before they go on sale and then the following weekend. Like this was just, I bought this just before, I believe just before Helen had her birthday sale, um, I think, or graduation sale, I can't remember, but um, just before she had a big sale and I was like, for real. <laughs> so anyways, but it was a good haul. I was happy that I got it. It came with this cute little journaling card, which features an emoji painting the Mona Lisa, which is cute. I love it, it says creativity takes courage, and that's awesome. This is the freebie that I got with my order. It is just like a little um, kind of catch up on sleep, like sleepy order that I got. Um, you can see it's August, because this one I ordered in August. And then here are the sticker sheets. So I purchased these, which are the walking in different seasons emojis, which I thought were really, really cute. We don't really have super different seasons here in Southern California, so I'll probably just be using these universally for all seasons. Um, but I, you can see I've already used one of them because I've gone on one of my fall walks. But I am trying to walk more, so I thought I would encourage myself to walk more by having some emojis that um, I could use when I, was, when I was walking more. And then I also picked up these lazy day emojis, which I always end up using when I'm just chilling. I'll end up putting these in my planner as um, just to mark that I was just hanging out that day. I've already used one of the yawn emoji emojis because I was super tired one day, so it was very helpful to have that. I have movie date emojis as well, which I purchased because I go to the movies constantly with um, my friends and my partner. So I wanted to get one that was sort of neutral. She had date, they're, they're sort of like movie date stickers. So you can see down here at the bottom it says gay, but there was like a, like a lesbian one and then there was a, a like quote unquote straight one, like one that had both. Um, genders, but I chose to get the gay one because I just thought, you know, overall it's like a little bit more neutral and um, yeah, just fits for more purposes that I'm gonna be using it for. So I picked this one up and I will probably be using these like every week. I got these new haircut emojis. Not, I don't get my haircut very often or dye, I get it dyed even less, but every time I get my haircut, I always want an emoji to market. So I picked this up because they're so cute and I've seen Helen use them in her plan with me's and I just really, really love how adorable they are. So I did pick it up so that I could use it whenever I get my haircut. This is my second sheet of sort of like me time relaxing emojis. This one is specifically sort of self care, bodily care oriented. Like there's showers and um, I love this little emoji, so cute with the robe and the face mask and the bunny ears, uh, very adorable. But this one I picked up because I'm actually trying to be sort of more habitual about my like every week taking like a big shower or like a big self care moment and just really like doing a skin routine, shaving, all of those things. So I thought this would be good to mark those. Of course I had to get some working emojis. I actually didn't have any working emojis, but I have them now, so thank gosh. I picked up this old, this is kind of one of her older sheets, um, featuring like different nail polish covers, colors. I paint my nails all the time at home. I mostly do my nails at home. I don't usually go out. So I just thought I would pick this up to mark that. I thought, okay, I thought this sh uh, sheet was so cute. It's the currently listening to sheet and I thought this would be a great thing to mark like new podcasts or 
um, albums that come out during the month. I'm not like a huge music audio person. I do a lot of audiobooks as well, so this could be used for that, but I just thought it would be nice um, on the off chance to like mark, you know, if a new album that I like comes out or if I start a new audiobook or something like that. So I'm actually really excited to use this, maybe on like a monthly basis, we'll see. And then cleaning emojis. You'll see a theme across all these sticker shops that I got some cleaning emojis um, and little cleaning um, little people because I'm trying to be better about cleaning. I'm trying to have an actual cleaning routine. So I thought this was really cute. I got some gaming emojis because I thought they were super cute and I've lately needed some gaming emojis to mark just sort of what new games I'm playing. Um, I often will play a game with my partner and then usually a game by myself and so this is uh, pretty cute to mark either one. I do have a Switch, but my partner also has a PS5. Um, so this this could be uh, applicable for any kind of console that we have in our household. I got these family eating emojis. I thought they were so cute. I uh, don't live with like a family who does family dinners anymore, but I thought they could be great to mark like going out with friends, which actually I did go out with my friends just last night to a place and we had dinner and there were four of us. So this would be perfect to mark that, for example. Um, but I will also be using this, like if I go home and we have a family dinner at home, I thought this would be fun to use. And just a nice way to mark sort of a family engagement or a group engagement. And that is it for Coffee Monsters Co. Let's do Sweet Freckle Design next. Okay, so now we're doing Sweet Freckle Design. I love this journaling card so much. She also used to send out like a very similar type of journaling, like little tiny journaling card or message or put it on her business card. Um, it just says daily reminder, be gentle with yourself. You're doing the best you can. I think it's so sweet. And then on the back is uh, just her information. So I thought this was so cute. And if you've been around my channel before, you've seen the uh, Caffeine and Paper Co. stickers that I use quite a lot in my Hobonichi weeks. This is Caffeine and Paper Co. So if I ever reference Caffeine and Paper Co. in a video, they are now Sweet Freckle Designs. Firstly, I picked up some month covers because I really liked the idea of using these in my weeks. I love the way that this um, will sort of look like on the sidebar of the Hobonichi Weeks. When I get into my new Hobonichi Weeks for 2023, which if you'd like to see um, the unboxing of those planners, I'm using two different Hobonichi Weeks. I will link that up in the cards, but basically, I thought these were really pretty and I've seen people use them before and I just wanted to try them out. And then I just got a much smaller sheet. You can see I've already used September in another planner, which I kind of regret. I kind of wish I had saved this for 2023, but I thought the font was really pretty. So I thought I'd just give it a shot. So for the Sweet Freckle Design stickers, I also got a lot of just sort of stickers that I could mark fun events or fun things that I was doing uh, with. So first are these Boba Tea uh, stickers. I have been on such a boba tea kick lately and it's such a treat to order it. Then I got these laundry day stickers, which are actually really small. I thought they would be much bigger, but they're like, they're like less than an inch basically, um, which is fine. They won't work if you're trying to like string them across like a full like Hobonichi cousin thing or, or Wonderland 222 column, but they look really cute in the weeks. So I really liked them. I got these video call ones uh, because I do do a lot of video calls, especially when I play D&D, &D, and I just thought it would be super cute. I have a lot of long distance friends right now. I have friends up in Seattle, friends out in Maine. So when we do calls, I think it would be really nice to mark it with a little emoji. And then I got these so full bunny stickers because I just thought they were so cute. I have a lot of sort of like takeout and, you know, fun takeout experience stickers, especially from Coffee Monsters Co. that I thought like this was applicable for some of those more um, egregious Postmates that you make, um, but I thought it was just so cute. So I got meal prep emojis. I am getting back into the kitchen now after I finished my grad school. So my uh, partner did most of the cooking while I was in grad school and now I'm getting back into the kitchen um, and doing some cooking too. So I'm really excited to use these to mark just sort of when I'm meal prepping. Okay, yes, this is a wishful thinking sticker. I'm, I can admit that, I'm big enough to admit that. But we all have those sticker sheets, right? Where we buy and we're like, this will definitely make me use this, right? Like this will definitely make me actually run on the treadmill and go to the gym. Uh, maybe, <laughs> but I thought it was so cute. I absolutely fell in love with her little bunny design. I think it's called Latte, uh, the little bunny. So I just totally fell in love with the little bunny design and it's so cute running on the treadmill. So I was like, okay, I will definitely go to the treadmill if I can use this little bunny. Hasn't happened yet, but you know, we're all work in progress. And then some more working emojis because you gotta have them. We all work. 
And lastly, I have some date night emojis. I try to do a date night with my partner once a week and I just think these are so cute. Okay, let's move on to rabbit hole handcraft. I discovered her stickers by watching some other people's plan with me's and I think they are so cute. I just loved the little pink haired girl. So I got a bunch of those and also a bunch of um, other ones. She offers her stickers in like a variety of hair colors. So uh, I, I picked up some in the like light blonde and dirty blonde as well as I think I have one brunette one and then also a bunch of pink ones too uh, because I thought that the variety was pretty nice even though I'm usually blonde. So for some reason I got two journaling cards. I got two of these uh, dancing ballerina ones. This is not like really my swag, but I do think they are very cute. Uh, so I may just keep them for some scrapbooking later. This is the freebie that I got with my order. It is like a chores freebie, I think, which is very cute. I actually toyed with the idea of getting like a whole sticker sheet of this laundry one um, because I thought it was so like she has other other stickers of, of the little girl doing a laundry on her sheet as well. But I think I got this um, just as the freebie for this order, which was great. You may notice as I'm going through these sheets that the side is quite uneven. Like you can see other sticker sheets behind this. And this is not because of rabbit hole handcraft. This is because I, Rachel, <laughs> cut them before I was filming this video so that they would fit in my current sticker uh, container, which I will show you guys at the end. I'll have like a, se a separate section for how I'm carrying these stickers around with me on a day-to-day -day basis. But I did that with Rabbit Hole Handcraft. And then I also did that with Sweet Freckle Design a little bit. So this is kind of also uneven, but that's just because I, I cut it. Um, they had perfectly nice and straight edges before, but I needed to cut it to make it fit into my configuration, so. That's uh, why you'll, you will see that. And it has nothing to do with the product or the seller. It has everything to do with me. Uh, so for Rabbit Hole Handcraft, I bought a bunch. Yeah, I bought a bunch of these. I love them, they're so cute. I love how <laughs> anxiety ridden the little, like the girl looks in almost all of the sticker sheets. I think she's so adorable. This is the Living Paycheck to Paycheck sheet. I just thought it was a great sheet to use for budgeting since I am trying to take a more active role in budgeting these days. I am not the greatest with money, I would say. So I really needed a sticker sheet that expressed the anxiety that I feel around money when I really need to get my hands uh, into my finances and, and see what's going on. I just thought it would make me feel a little bit better if I was like, okay, hey, yes, budgeting gives me crazy anxiety, but I have to do it today um, and I have to do it now or I will be in a living paycheck to paycheck situation. So I picked up this sheet. I thought it was pretty cute. Then I have some of her like reading stickers. I think they're this one and then yeah, like the next couple sheets are her old branding. So she's um, she's got a few of those sticker sheets with like not, that don't have the like pink, uh, pink branding up at the top. But I thought this was really cute. I used to be such a big reader when I was younger and then I did a whole literature degree and then I did a whole grad school degree and now I just never wanna look at a book again. <laughs> but I am slowly getting back into reading for pleasure and just picking up books that interest me instead of books that are assigned to me. So I think this will come in handy just to mark those and I thought she was really, really sweet. Once again, I just think the pink hair is so charming. I think it's adorable. This is also one of the ones you can see with some old branding. This is like a rainy day, sad day, bad mood sticker sheet. I always feel like it's good to have a few bad mood sticker sheets around just to mark when you're not feeling good. For some reason, placing down like a, oh, I'm exhausted or a, oh, I feel terrible sticker in your sticker or in your planner, just, it really helps me. I don't know, do you guys, do you guys find this? Like, do you have buy sticker sheets of bad days and like tough situations just to mark it in your planner and feel better? Because that is absolutely what I do. And I just think these are so cute and I really wanna use them if I have a bad day to help make me feel better, make me feel like I've witnessed the bad day happening to me. I also have this flu season sheet, which obviously flu season is coming up with winter right around the corner, but I also get just extremely bad allergies. So at least these two, this like tissue and tissue, uh, like set over here on the side, I'm probably gonna just be using to mark allergies because I just get absolutely knocked out by allergies every single year. So I will be, excited i guess to once again be able to mark something that just gives me just pain that i do not like um but i'll be able to mark it and so it'll make me feel like a little bit more like seen let me know down below what sticker sheets have you bought that you 
use to mark like painful events? Like, do you have a budget anxiety sticker sheet that you use to make yourself feel better about your anxiety about budgeting? Do you have like an allergy sheet that you use to make yourself feel better about feeling terrible? Uh, what do you use? Let me know down below. Here's another one that is totally like, I feel terrible <laughs> and I really need this to mark when I feel terrible. It's the uh, quote unquote shark days sticker sheet, AKA the period sticker sheet, which I think is really, it's just a cute way to acknowledge it. I think my favorite and the reason I bought it, my favorite emoji is like this little gal cuddling the shark pillow. I just, it's exactly what you wanna do when you're just cramps all day, all night. So I'm really excited to be able to use these uh, during, again, once again, one of like the times of my week that I am not very happy uh, in order to make myself feel a little bit better. Dental care, yes. Okay, so this is also one, well, I think I just like took the rabbit hole handcraft shop and was like, okay, I have all these anxieties, please fix them with stickers. I have a dentist appointment on the books literally next week, so I'm excited to be able to use this because once again, going to the dentist, anything like that kind of gives me anxiety, so it'll be helpful to just mark it with a sticker and feel a little bit better. This one I just thought was so cute. It's sort of like a holidays one. You can see it has like Halloween, Earth Day, St. Patrick's Day, a birthday, a bunch of really cute ones. So I thought I would just pick that up and use that to mark some fun stuff. And then another working emoji one. I love how like this little gal also has her coffee and her planner and her papers. I just think it's so cute. So very excited to use that. I got a rainy day um, sheet. It rains so rarely here in Southern California that it's like a big event when it actually rains. So I figured I'd just pick up a sheet and when it rains, use the, sh use the sticker to be like, holy shit, it's raining because it never rains down here. So it's always like, you know, like sometimes we don't go into the office, for example, when it rains because roads flood because the cities down here are not built to handle rain. So. Stuff like that I think deserves a little marker in your planner. And then lastly, I have this happy mail sheet, which I think is really cute. I had planned actually to use one of these stickers when I got all of my sticker orders in finally. So I think I have to mark that down in my planner somewhere. So maybe we'll do that together today. I think that'd be fun. Okay, and lastly, I ordered from Paper Shire Stationery. This was a last minute add to all my other sticker orders. I found their sticker shop. It's like a family owned business in the UK. It's so cute. I just, it's impossible. I mean, just look at this journaling card. It's just impossibly cute. Their main little character is this bunny. Um, I can't remember the bunny's name right now, but I was on, I clearly, clearly I was on like a bunny kick when I was placing these orders. So I just fell in love with the little white bunny and I'm really excited to share with you what I got. So this is the journaling card, very cute. These are the freebies. I actually didn't take these out of the uh, thing yet because I literally just, this was the last order. I just got it like a couple days ago. So let's see what the freebies are. Okay, so another journaling card, it says, Pantone Beach Blue. This is really pretty. This is like that um, that person, I think it's on Instagram or um, TikTok who uh, takes those Pantone, Pantone cards and just colors them and paints them. Uh, really pretty, really cute. And very summery as well, which I don't have a lot of summery themed stuff, even though I live in a place where like, it's all about the beach, whatever. Okay, so th these are her girl stickers. So she has some girl stickers as well as, like I said, the little like bunny stickers. And I didn't order any of the girl stickers. I feel like I had that covered with rabbit hole handcraft, but she did send me a freebie, which is actually great. And this is like a sampler of all the different ones or a few of the different ones that she has, which is super cute. Um, I definitely, I do go on date nights. That will be great. These couple ones are so cute. I don't have a dog, so <laughs> maybe I'll use those to mark something with my cat. We'll see. But I do like the little YouTube icon ones and I've seen people, other people use these in their planners and that might be great to mark, mark some YouTube stuff. And I really like, actually I really like this one up here. It's so cute with the little tongue sticking out of her mouth. I don't know about you guys, but I get so many crazy ideas all the time. I mean, they're not crazy ideas, you know, I'm a, you know, they're normal person ideas, but I get so many ideas all the time. I just have to write them down even when I'm like in bed. <laughs> I need to grab a notebook on my counter. And some of these will be great for like marking self care days as well, super cute. This was another freebie. It was, it's like a screen. So you can kind of use these as like a half box. It's very pink, which a lot of her coloring is super pink. I guess I just am on like a pink theme 
today uh, or with this sticker order for some reason, but I'll probably try to use it to like mark something or note something I'm working on on the computer. I think that would be fun. And then lastly, I got the, this little freebie of the library. So it looks like, yeah, so we're checking out from the library. We're reading books at the library and there's like a little library sort of almost flat lay situation there. Uh, which I think is really cute. Maybe it will encourage me to go to the library and rent books so that I can use my book stickers from Rabbit Hole Handcraft. It is all coming together, guys. Okay, so those are the Paper Shire freebies. Let's move on to what I actually got. Let's actually start with her half sheets. So I typically get these quarter sheet stickers from sticker shops when I can. Most sticker shops sell stickers in this quarter sheet size, I find and they are perfect for the current way that I carry around my stickers, which is why I like picking them up in this size. But they had so many good samplers, and this was my first time ordering from Paper Shire, so I wanted to get as many samplers as I could to really test out their products and see if I liked them. So I got a few of the half letter sheets instead, and I'll just probably cut these like across the middle to make them fit. Uh, or I will uh, put these in a separate folder and carry that around with me. We'll see. So the first one is like a food sticker sheet. They're famous for their flat lays or so I have heard. So these are pretty uh, standard sort of flat lays of different meals that one could get or grocery orders or you know, takeout or coffee or whatever. So these are pretty cute. And then this one is the scenes sampler. So it's just different scenes from like the bunny's life, which I think is so cute. This is gonna encourage me, paper shire stickers are gonna encourage me to definitely like just chill on my couch more and eat a lot more bread. I think that that is a good thing. I think that's, that's what I want in my life actually. Some of these could definitely be used as dividers. I think that would make a really cute divider. And of course, marking your shopping haul, marking your fast food, you know, just marking your like, you know, looks like a little like almost sick night yeah it does it's like a little sick night oh that's so cute so lots of stuff to use i think just think it's really adorable and i'm excited to experiment these i'm okay so hear me out i don't really use half boxes or full boxes or any sort of writable sticker but i wanted to experiment with writable stickers and she had so many good ones so i picked up this sampler and another sticker sheet um, from her that I'll show you later. So, but I just picked up the sampler. I thought it was cute. We'll see if I actually use them. If you guys have any tips for using writable stickers or like, you know, half box stickers like this down below, let me know. Cause I always find myself struggling to use any sticker that I write on, especially for like an appointment, like for memory keeping, I might, I kind of get it, but for pre-planning, I just, I struggle. So leave your tips down below, especially tips for pens that write well on these types of stickers. I would love to know. Then I got a vanilla. Oh yeah, so the bunny is called vanilla, which is really cute. A little bit too close to bunicula, but we'll let that slide. I got the food sampler. So any type of food you could imagine is just on this sheet. Really cute, really cute. I'm always very conscious of ordering uh, food themed sticker sheets that like I am a vegetarian and some of this just straight up won't apply to me. Like we go back to the food sampler that I ordered from her. Like you can see like hot dogs, that's, I'm just gonna have to use that to mark a vegetarian hot dog. These things with turkey, like maybe that's like a family dinner on Thanksgiving or Christmas that I would use to mark that with, but anything with meat in it, I'm just, this breakfast thing, I'm just gonna have to use very carefully cause like I don't actually eat meat. Um, and the same thing with this sticker sheet where everything on it like there's a few things like sandwiches like i just don't really eat sandwiches because i'm a vegetarian and most sandwiches have meat unless you want to order their like veggie sandwich which is basically just like lettuce and olive oil on bread it usually is not very good um at most places but i think most of these are veg friendly or things that i can like make into a vegetarian like vegetarian burgers are absolutely a thing veggie kebabs i can totally make that in a veggie way. This here is definitely, she's just definitely holding a little steak, but uh, maybe I'll use that to mark like my boyfriend getting something or something. But anyways, but I thought it was really cute and very veg friendly, which is nice. Then I got a holiday sticker sheet just to mark in some things for the holidays. My goal for this sheet is to actually use it all this holiday season because I am so bad at hoarding holiday stickers and then I don't get the opportunity to use them until the next year. So my goal is to try to use as many of these as possible. Please hold me accountable. <laughs> if you don't see these in my planner come December, uh, yell at me in the comments. 
but I just thought they were really cute and they can be used to mark pretty much anything. I especially love the sweaters. We do like a big like a uh, holiday sweater thing around my family all the time. So that was really fun. And then of course, like the mugs are so cute. And the holiday beverages. My partner is like a beverage connoisseur. Like he's, he's our bartender for our friends and stuff like that. And he makes really, really good drinks. And I know we're gonna have some fun over the holidays, just making very festive themed, themed things. So should be fun. The last sampler that I got was just one of the regular vanilla sam samplers. So uh, she has separate sticker sheets that have all or most of these little dudes on them. So I'm excited to see which ones I gravitate towards the most and maybe that can help me like know which sticker sheets I should pick up uh, if I order from her again, which I probably will because I'm actually obsessed with vanilla. I am obsessed with him. What I also like about these is that they can be used for multiple circumstances. So like this can be used for work, but it can also be used for like calling a friend. Um, this can be used for customer service, but it can also be used for hearing some drama or something. We have a couple of packing ones that can be used for like moving or getting happy mail, for example. So yeah, just a bunch of options that these can be used for, which make them so versatile and so cute. And I'm really excited to have the sampler so I can see what I like and what I use. Okay, now on to the quarter sheets that I ordered. So one thing I noticed about Paper Shire stickers is that she just gives you like a lot of stickers on the sheet, like one, two, 28 stickers on this sheet, which is crazy. Compared to 24 on Coffee Monsters Co. and 19 on a, a generic rabbit hole handcraft sheet. So a lot of stickers, but they are pretty tiny. This one I got sort of for a similar reason that I got the Coffee Monsters Co. one for like family dinners one because I thought it was really cute. Um, and I liked the idea that I could mark like friends getting together or family dinner and also just date nights, which is gonna actually, is like actually mostly my reality is when we go out to dinner, I'll probably use one of these little stickers just to mark going out to dinner with my partner or with a friend. These are specifically the autumn ones, but I just thought they would be applicable for any time. So I picked them up. This one is the office cubicles one, which I thought was really cute. I am in the office about half of my days throughout the week and the other half I'm working from home. So I thought this would be cute to mark the days that I'm actually in the office, especially because sometimes I'm just literally just staring at my cubicle wall and it's not <laughs> as fun as being at home. So I thought it would be nice to mark these with those stickers. Some cozy banners and dividers. Again, I thought I could write on this cloud, so we'll see if that happens. Um, and then I just really like the little leaf dividers. This is definitely a sticker sheet I'm gonna try to use this fall because I don't wanna end the season with a bunch of unused stationary supplies. I really like to use them. And then I got some vlogging equipment, I like vlogging equipment um, uh, sticker sheet. I don't have any sticker sheets to mark YouTube, like filming or editing or anything or uploading or anything. So I got some sticker sheets to mark that and we'll see how they go. I think it will be fun. I got this coffee and journaling sticker sheet as well because who doesn't love a beautiful little flat lay with a croissant? This sheet I got is the memorial sheet. So I was toying between getting this and the Dia de los Muertos sheet that she has. I really like the Dia de los Muertos sheet which is the Day of the Dead. And I live in Southern California, so obviously um, Day of the Dead, you know, there's lots of celebrations and stuff like that that go on down here um, since we're so close to Mexico and there's a huge Mexican population for that holiday. And I really enjoyed the idea of having something to mark that holiday, but I thought this sheet was more versatile because it has just general sort of tombstone iconography, I guess, on it which may seem a little bit morbid to you, but I actually thought it was really sweet that she had a sheet like this because for those of us who respect and honor like deaths of our loved ones or our ancestors throughout the year, this is gonna be a really good like holiday agnostic sheet uh, to just be able to pick up and, and use to honor those people or use when I'm like going to a graveyard um, just like walking around it or, or respecting the spirits there and stuff like that. So I thought this was really sweet. I'm really happy to have picked it up. And there are 40 of these on here, of these little memorial sticker sheets on here. So actually it seems like the uh, contents of her sticker sheets vary quite a bit, which is totally fine. I mean, I'm happy to receive a sticker sheet with 40. That's totally cool with me. I picked up these little cookbook stickers uh, for the same reason that I got the meal prep stickers from Sweet Freckle Designs. I just thought they were cute and I am cooking a lot more lately, so fun to mark. And then lastly, I got these Cozy Day stickers, which I think are really cute. 
and probably just use to mark, you know, self-care, reading time, alone time on the couch, just chilling, especially if I'm eating a pizza. So I thought it was really cute. So these are all of the sticker sheets that I got in this most recent like autumn haul. But the way that I'm using these in my planners, I'll show you right now. So this is my last week's spread in my Hobonichi cousin. And as you can see, I'm just popping in stickers either where I think there's like a bit of deco needed or to mark something that I did at uh, like during the day, like a memory. So for example, this is where I used the Coffee Monsters Co. walking sticker and I used it to mark going to lunch and having a walk at lunch. And then this day I got monetized on YouTube, which yay, thank you so much. If you are sticking around my channel, subscribing, watching regularly, I am so grateful, uh, so grateful that I used this little sticker to mark it. And she's just so elated. <laughs> okay, so together let's mark some things since uh, I wanna get you, give you guys an idea of how I use my sticker sheets. So typically this memories column gets filled up at the end of the day. You can see I had some space, so like I wrote a quote this week, but really I could have figured, uh, filled it out with a sticker every single day, and sometimes I do. Most of the time though, I'll have extra space down here on the weekends, so I will be marking that, or I'll have extra space like down here in the corner where my uh, post-it note usually is, or rather my tab. Uh, so I'm just gonna move that to next week and we're gonna mark some things. So this weekend, I my best friend, one of my best friends was in town and I am going to mark that we had dinner together with a couple of our other friends as well. So I'm gonna mark that. So that was awesome. And then I'm going to use this Happy Mail sticker to mark that I got all of my sticker orders this weekend. Let's use this one since she's just like holding so many sticker orders, I think it'd be cute. Put that right there. Okay, cute. And that's this week. So this is like a good full week in my Hobonichi weeks with sticker usage up and down the line. The way I've been carrying around my sticker sheets lately is in this Hobonichi photograph album. So I picked up another one for 2023 because this one is getting chunky and I tend to stuff like a bunch of stickers in here that I think I will want at any given moment. So these empty ones at the back were actually like holding some of these sticker sheets that I had gotten that were new. Um, so I'm gonna just try to stuff those in there and show you really how much this little guy can fit. Okay, so this is the sticker album with it all filled up and like full to bursting basically. Compared to this empty one that I got, um, with my Hobonichi 2023 order. It bulks up quite a lot and can fit a ton of stickers. I basically have it organized so that like freebies and other things are in the front pocket that I wanna use up fast. And then I have like a Coffee Monsters Co. like bulk order. This is the new ones plus some old sheets that I have. So this, this one is probably like the thickest, like the most sheets in one photograph um, like panel. And I think I counted like 17 sticker sheets. So it's it holds a crazy amount, but it's definitely like full, full to bursting. Uh, these are like some mood sticker sheets, Coffee Monsters Co. and then Paper Eka Shop on the back. These are some uh, banner images and things like that. And some frogs that I use to mark my frogs for the day. And then I have Rabbit Hole Handcraft in here, Sweet Frickle Design and paper shire and in the back I just have some like loose caffeine and paper co icon stickers and some other sticker sheets that I want to use up. So I still have um, one sticker sheet or one one panel in here I think that is empty but I'm not sure <laughs> how I'm gonna fit any more stickers into this little guy but it does slip right in my bag. It's super easy to carry around. It fits in most pencil cases that I own and for a while there, I was even able to fit it inside my Hobonichi Weeks cover. So I used to put it in the back here and I would just fold my Weeks on top of it and then it still buckles in the, in the Moterm cover. So that is how I've been carrying it around most of the time, but I think it's getting a bit thick for me right now that I will have to make some, some sort of judgment on what stickers I actually, actually want. And I'll also probably uh, be reorganizing this in terms of like, like I have my moods and reactions here, but this Coffee Monsters sticker bundle, you know, some of them are moods and reactions. Some of them are like, you know, marking things that I have to get done versus for memory keeping. So I might reorganize this into that, into that sort of configuration. 
and I still yet might cut these sheets down. So they're definitely, the half letter is definitely like not gonna fit in this tiny little photo album. But if I cut it down, if I cut it like right there, it might fit. So when these become more relevant, like for example, like when the like holiday season comes around and I wanna use the holiday sampler that I got, ta-da. Like this one I might be, I might be chopping down and mangling. I'm not above chopping down my sticker sheets so that they fit in whatever configuration I have for them. But yeah, other than that, that's my haul for today. That's what I have to show you. If you guys liked any of the sticker sheets, please leave them down below. Which ones do you like? Did you discover a new sticker shop with this video? I hope you did. I post every Sunday morning here on YouTube, so come hang out with me on Sundays. I'm usually in the comments for a couple hours after I post, just responding, saying hi, um, answering your questions, things like that. So please come hang out on Sundays. Uh, I hope you liked this video. Leave your thoughts down in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.